Alrighty, guys. Hello, everyone. To all my fellow Fix employees out there, welcome to episode 13 of How to Satisfactory, the first ever live stream version of this, because I was kind of thinking that a live stream would probably work better for what we are trying to do with this. Um, I've been trying to get this episode done for a long time, and I just realized that there's just so much to actually go over and so much to record and fix that maybe a live stream would be the best option. Also, uh, towards the end of this, it would give me a, a chance to actually answer questions that maybe some of you guys might have if you're new to the game. Or uh, we can kind of go over and take a better look at the uh, the factory that we're creating, my version. And maybe you can kind of, if you have questions about how something was put together or something like that, we can go over that together. So that was my kind of thinking to this. Um, I've got a lot of people who are going to be saying hello, and I just want to welcome everybody. First off, how are you all doing? I hope everyone is having a great day. Hope you all are looking forward to this episode. And if you're watching at a later date, and it's one of the uh, the recordings of this, well, hello to you at that point, too. All right, so without further ado, uh, let's kind of get started. So this is all going to be live, me building and everything, so this is going to take a little bit. Uh, to get everything together and working. It's not going to be just kind of cut up and edited like most of the videos. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but I feel like this is the best way to do it. I just don't know if it's the best for uh, everybody out there. So, because I am probably going to be making some mistakes and you guys are going to be able to see how disorganized I actually am when I go to uh, record these videos. So, uh, all right, all right, let me get coupons, first of all. Make sure we got all of our coupons together. Get all of these. Uh, ooh, I got 10 in the box. All right, so so far that's how many tickets we got here? Yeah, we got 18 tickets. All right, so let's go ahead and buy a few things we're gonna need. I know I'm going to need the fix-it roofs for sure. So I'm gonna add those to my cart. Um, let's see, what else am I going to need? What else are we gonna need? The modern railing, I would very much like to get some of that. So let's get some of that. Some of you guys may already have some of this stuff out there. And I'm going to pass on the ladder for the moment. And walls. Okay, yeah, I want the tilted walls. Let's see, how many does that put me at now? 12, okay. Definitely want the tilted walls. And I believe I would like to get... I'm going to go ahead and grab the steel frame windows. These are my favorite. However, there are the other windows here that you guys can grab. There's the uh, windowed walls. They do cost more than what these do, though. So if you don't have enough tickets, you could always grab the steel frame and then change these out later. Some decent choices in those. And let's see. Make sure I add that in there. Okay, so that's a total of 15, 16, 17. I've got three more tickets we could use. Let's see what else we're going to need. Um, uh, power outlets, yeah, we're probably fine on those. Foundations, hmm, do I want the inverted? I, th I think I kind of feel like I want the inverted ones. I'd like to get the double ramps too, but... Now there's also this option in here as well. Uh, you guys can grab the concrete foundation materials, the grip metal, anything you want to do in there. You can also grab different types of walls and stuff too. So these are options as well to set up. We'll go over these shortly on how to change some of this. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go... Ew, it's a tough choice. I'm going to save my three tickets that I have left and just get that. Did I? Oh, I forgot to buy everything I wanted. I got to do it again. See, this is how disorganized I am. Uh, we'll get to fix it roofs and the fix it wall, the tilted walls for what I plan to do, I think is going to go well. All right, and how are we doing on that? 15, that's 14. What am I missing? Oh, the rails. We forgot the rails. Okay, let's get that. Railings, 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 railings. Right there. Modern railing. Okay, buy that. Okay, and then we go up here to the shopping cart and we check out. Now, it may seem like when I'm actually recording these videos and you guys are watching the videos later on that I've got all my my junk together. <laughs> uh, that is the magic of Premiere 
Pro, <laughs> Adobe Premiere Pro. Well, I've actually, I already edited a video and uh, spent tons of time actually just working on these things. All right, so there's a couple things I need to do here on my side. So one second here, and get this up, and go over here to documents, go to my games. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I've taken some photos of what I was planning on doing today so that uh, it won't take as long to get this kind of built. I don't have to remember what I did, I just have photos of it, which is going to be much better. All right, so there we go. All right. Okay. Let's see where to start here. Where are we going to start? Okay, I remember where we're going for this. Okay. So, one of the first things I want to do here is we're going to go to this side over here. Right down here in front. And we're just going to kind of work on this right here. So, we're going to put some walls down here. Let me see here. That's the photo I want. Here we go. All right, so let's come down here to the edge. And basically what I'm going to do, now this is just how I'm going to design this factory. Hopefully it will give you guys enough ideas and thoughts and, and kind of an idea of how things fit together, how things work, a good way of thinking about stuff to maybe change this up and create your own look. But this is kind of what I was thinking for my factory here. You guys can feel free to copy this if you want or do it your own way. So I'm gonna grab the tilted walls, eight meters right here, and I'm gonna change that to here, and I gotta get this to the bottom, which is not wanting to go where I want it to go, which is always a problem, so I'll just do this. We'll put one down there on the bottom first, and then we'll put one like that, and then delete that bottom one. And then I'm just gonna take these, gonna turn Zoop on, put them all the way down to the end, and I'm going to build kind of a triangular shape. And then I'm going to put them around the top too. Now you can't really see what I'm doing unless I back up here. But we're going to do kind of this triangular shape. And of course I don't have enough material for that. So we got to grab some plates. Should probably grab a ton of these. Yeah, let's see here. And of course, just a quick reminder, if you're trying to find something in one of your containers, you can always just open up your multi-tool and kind of look at these and it will tell you what's in each box. Like this one right here has 4,810 plates, which means that's the box I'm looking for. I want to grab a bunch of these. I have so much stuff in my inventory. Let's empty our inventory out real quick. And this is what I was talking about, about the, the, it might take me a while here because I've got a ton of stuff that I'm doing here all at once and empty out that empty these out all right that's a little bit of space okay that'll work all right all right probably do i only needed like a couple more right there but that's fine All right, and then I'm gonna put another one up there, just like that. And then we're gonna to go to the other side, we're gonna do the same thing on this wall over here. Careful not to get run over by our trucks, though. You guys ever done that? You ever got run over by your own trucks? Doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good at all. Put one there and then one there and we're gonna run it down. Delete that one and there here. And then we'll just put that round through there like so. And bring that down this way.
I like that. I think that looks pretty good. All right, and then what I may do here is I think I'll take a basic wall and just kind of bring it down this way. And we need to make sure and we're not blocking the path of the truck. So yeah, that would actually be blocking the path of the truck. So I don't want to do that. Uh, we'll just put one in the middle here. One right here. And, <laughs> of course. Of course I did. Listen to what I say, not what I do. And trying to get that right there. That That's good right there. And then... For these bottom parts, I could go ahead and took another wall all the way down like that, but I'm actually going to use this basic wall. It, you use the same parts, so it's not a huge difference on how you do this. But I'm basically just going to kind of make this little garage area down here, and we're going to seal it up. Like that. We'll copy that. We're going to go over to the other side. We're going to bring this down over here as well. Zoop that over that way. We're just going to seal this whole wall in right here. And hit E. It was perfect timing by the tractor. That is exactly right. And you're right. The ragdoll animation is a good little touch right there. I'm going to leave that open for the time being because I may end up doing something else down through this way. Don't know just yet. All right, so there we have our kind of little area over here. And I may actually go a little further up here. Let me jump around over here. And that way I can kind of see. We'll kind of show you guys what this is kind of looking like here. So you can kind of see I'm doing a kind of a triangular shape. It's a weird shape, but one that I kind of like. So I'm going to put one down that side one down that side and I think I know something I forgot something I forgot to get unless I've already got it and I don't believe I do no I haven't got any of the glass yet so but essentially what I would do at this point is take glass and put it right down the middle or you can use a regular roof as well it's whatever you want to do here I think the glass looks better. Use a flat glass right down the middle of that. Looks like a TIE fighter, a little bit. All right, and then I'm gonna leave that for the time being. All right. Now, here's a little something that you can do. So when it comes to customizing, if you hit the X key on your keyboard, it will bring up the paint swap tool here. So I can choose whatever color I want here. I can go with swatches down in here. Uh, I could go with this swatch and just paint that. It doesn't look like it's changing much color there, but you can see kind of there. And let's say I wanted to just put stripes down something. So just like that, I could totally just put some stripes down through there like that. Um, you can also change, now these ones up here are the default ones. So this is the factory swatch, uh, the foundation swatch, and the pipeline swatch. So if you change this one, all of your pipelines that you put in the game, like over there where the coal and stuff is, will change to this swatch. If you choose this one, this is the foundations. So this would be like if you have concrete foundations, anything like that. It's going to change the color of these here by changing that. Uh, or we can do the factory swatch, which is the big one. So you see how we have all these yellow kind of walls and stuff. Well, let's say I don't really care for that. We can hit the edit key right here. I'm going to change that to maybe a nice gray. Somewhere down in here. Let's do that. Not quite white. Not quite the other way either. And just like that. And bada bing, bada boom. It changed all except for the ones I just painted and already customized myself, over to that gray. Now it also changed 
if you come over here and look, it changed all of our machines and everything else to that color too. So if you just want to have everything one particular color, you can do that. And then if I wanted to change that up, I can do it on the fly. We can change this to say, I don't know, hop. Well, I'm a fan of purple. I'm going to go purple. Boom, like that. And you can see it's uh, turned the other swatch here into there. And again, if you guys are satisfactory, like, pros and stuff like this, none of this information is going to be any surprise to you. So, uh, this is all just for people who are new to the game. Some of you guys have probably been waiting for this episode forever. You've already figured a lot of this stuff out on your own. But, little tips and tricks that, you know, maybe you didn't know. Alright, and then, see all these ones that I've already painted? If I go down here, since I use this swatch here... If I change that over to, say, a blue, like that, and then I hit select color, it will change all of those ones that I've already painted. So let's say you set up a custom swatch for something, and later on you decide, well, I want to change everything I use that swatch on to a particular color. You can do that on the fly, same as the, uh, the factory swatches and stuff. Now I'm just going to go up here, we're going to choose this, and I'm just going to repaint these back over here. So for the time being, I'm going to have all the walls just be this one color, but I think what we may end up doing is maybe striping it somehow. Most likely I will probably do that. Alright, so do I have any questions so far about anything that I've done right there? We're going to open the floor to questions now. Alright, so it doesn't seem like it, so I think we are good to go at this point. I'm going to move on. Find the next section I'm doing here. Which will probably be this one here. All makes sense. Okay. I didn't know about the custom swatch changes. Thanks. Didn't realize they'd change if I edit after painting. Yes. So they totally will do that. So what I like to do is uh, I can change that. It's a good way to change all my factory like machines and stuff around. And it changes all the machines that are on that swatch over to that. Just makes uh, more sense, I think, that way. Alright. Let's see here. Did I... Just looking at my photos here of how I have this. Alright, so we're going to go over here now to the other side of this. try to get out of the gas here. Now on the back side back here, I'm going to take these and I'm just going to run these down this way. Like so. And I'm just going to cover all of this up down through here. I still haven't decided about this bit yet, so I'm probably just going to leave that right there. There was just so much to kind of do to kind of customize the factory. Make it look like an actual factory, some kind of like sci-fi building and stuff was my goal here. So that's why I decided that I think instead of just doing a, an actual video, I think we would just do it this way. Okay. All right, so I'm going to head up to this part. Now, at this point, I'm going to grab a foundation. We're going to change it to four. I'm going to go up two with that, but I need to be in vertical, so we'll hit R to change that to vertical. 
And then I'm going to put one on top of that. And then one more on top of that, like so. And then delete that. So we have the one level right there. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm actually going to move the hub around here a little bit. i got to get it back to Zoop. All right. And I it did exactly that size. So four, four, and then two one meters with the last one meter being on top because that will go right over top of our storage containers here. So we can just take that and run that across. Like so. And I'm just gonna jump up on top of this carefully. And we can get up on top of here. And then I can just run this over here. And run this back, I believe. Like so. I'm not I'm just checking to see how far we're going there. I know you <laughs> I've received so many comments about the jumping in one place, but right there I'm actually doing it because I'm just getting the bearings, basically. So let me go down here. We're going to need some more plates. Let me go grab some of those. I think that's what I need. Right here. Is that what I ran out of? I might have ran out of concrete, too, actually. I think I did. No, I've got plates. I'm out of concrete. Alright. We'll grab some of that. And I'm trying to make this building out of stuff that you guys would have easy access to at the beginning of the game. Uh, more likely, you guys may have a ton of tickets, so you can buy more stuff and do more customizing. That's a possibility. I only have the 18 tickets, though, so this is the best I can personally make here. And then you do that, like what I just did, and you fall down while trying to get to the top of that. I should have bought the ladder. There we go. Run that over like that. Alright, and I'm going to take my hub, delete that, and let's see here, is it, yeah, it should be exactly right above that, that's about where I want that, cover that up, find the middle, which is right here, 35 tickets, should be plenty, yeah, you should be able to have access to a tons of things. Now we're going to grab and put our hub up here with the shuttle facing the back, which would be right there. And if I do believe, let me make sure this is where I want this. Now I need to put it back a little further. All right, that's fine. Just getting the right placement here. So let's do... Let's try this here and see where this goes. This is as far as best I can get it before it actually goes up against the wall there. Let me see how that works out. I do believe that's exactly where I want that. That's actually perfect right there. Okay. So now we have this. Let's go ahead and get these exclamations out of the way here. Just go over and hit E on them to use them and they will disappear. We don't have to worry about any kind of uh, power or anything coming off of this because we're not actually using any power on that. I think I might have been using power to the um, to the sink, maybe, but I, I don't think I was. All right, so we got that there. And...
Okay. Now, I'm going to go in here. We're going to choose... Because this is just something I like to do. You don't have to do this. I This is just something I kind of enjoy doing. I like to take a one meter ramp and put it up right here on each side of it. Like that. And we'll grab this. And then we're just going to put these in here like this. And then I'm going to grab this back again. And I'm going to slant this down on the back back here towards the wall. There is a reason for that. Which you guys will see in just a moment. I'm actually building this much quicker than I built this the first time. Because it took me forever to figure out what this was going to look like and how this would come together. And I still haven't even gotten 100% finished yet. So we'll see how this works. Uh, might also bring it out over this way too. Probably will. There we go. And I am still using update 5 for the how-to series. Haven't moved on to update 6 yet for this. Don't think I will until it's actually officially released. Since this is a how-to series, I know some of you maybe have moved on to update 6, but a lot of new people probably aren't sure how, so I think uh, this will probably be the best way. And this uh, leaves this kind of gap right here, right in front of this, with kind of a, a little bit of a slant right here. I kind of like how that looks. Do, do, do. Let me see here. Is this correct? Yes, I believe that is how I want that. All right. All right, now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take out this. Uh, I'm going to put this one over here on this side, like that. So we're probably going to expand this out a little bit right here. And I'm going to take this window out. And then we're going to go in. We're going to grab the walls. And we're going to grab whatever windows you chose. Uh, ooh, I need silica for that. Okay. Planning how things look like takes so long. Then this process is slapping pieces in places. Been building my mega factory for the last two days. First floor still isn't done. Yeah, well, I mean, that's why we're just now at this point right here on this. So I really should probably get some a way to get up there right now at the moment. Do I have any silica in here? Do we have a silica at all? Hmm, good question. I do have some quartz. Okay. Uh, I don't have a thing over here anywhere. I swear I had a way to get up and down through here, and I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> uh, no, that's okay. Let's go ahead and pump these down through here. Well, not that. We don't want to cover that up. We still need that. We still have stuff in there. Right, I'm just going to build a thing down here real quick. Just so we can make stuff. Craft bench. Alright. And I want to make some silica. So let's make quartz crystals first. Oh, wait. No, wait. I can make that straight into silica. That's a better idea. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't have any space for it, so I will just drop something real quick, and then we'll make some space. There we go. Just finished the first floor of my first big factory, says Chris Cheers. Uh, making 24 rotors per minute. So much time spent on getting the belts right. Uh, so much learning from this series to give me ideas. Well, that's good. I'm glad I'm just at least giving people ideas, even if you're not just following exactly what I'm doing. Hopefully, I'm just helping you out in some way. That's the whole goal of this series. 
All right, so we've got that. All right. Okay, I can't put anything else in there. All right. So now let's get up here to this. Let me go over here. I'm just gonna grab. Uh, let's grab the ladder out of the out of the shop. That's gonna be the quickest way to get up and down, honestly. Oh, it's three tickets. Do I really want to spend that much on three tickets? Do we? Three tickets on a ladder? Nah, nah. I don't want to do that. We'll figure this out a different way here, I think. Let's do... Four meter ramp coming down here. Ooh. Nope, that's not gonna work. Since you have to head out, how should I determine how much of the final item to produce? That part has always been the hardest for me. Hmm. Um, so basically, you want to work backwards. So whatever you are trying to make, you need to kind of go from there. So let's say you need you need to make smart plates. Alright, so you need to determine how many of each item you need to make those smart plates per minute and then work backwards from that so if let's say you need 10 iron rods all right well you need to make sure that you are producing those 10 iron rods and so forth if you need 50 screws you need to make sure you're producing enough of those 50 screws to go into whatever it's basically a math game um it's kind of hard to explain a little bit but hopefully that kind of helps just basically work backwards um, if the final product is, let's say your final product right now is just smart plating, then you don't really have to worry about anything uh, too much further than that. And then you can always change up how you have it later on. It's like, say you need to make more smart plates than what you're making per minute. Well, then you just throw a uh, power shard into it, and then, okay, so that's just increased how many regular plates I need, and vice versa. So just work backwards. Hopefully that answered the question. I'm just gonna do this. This is this is fine. Get where I want you. Right there. There. Now we can at least get up and down. Alright. Now, do I have enough to build what I want here? Walls. So we're going to put uh, one layer like that. And do I have the, the glass roofs? Can I change that over? I only have that. Okay, so I definitely need to change that over and get some glass. Can you show the best way to cover conveyor belts that are very long? I'm having a hard time my playthrough with it because they are all over the place. Uh, not sure what you mean. How to... The best way to cover conveyor belts that are very long. Uh, oh, use stackable conveyors to get up and down? <laughs> I need something. Uh, I probably don't have enough tickets for this now, but I need something. That's going to hurt. Didn't quite mean to fall down that far, but oh well. I need... glass roof material and for that I need two more tickets there's one more ticket Ooh. 
what can we throw in there, guys, to, uh, to get us some more tickets real quick? Let me think. Do I have anything over here? And we can throw some smart plates in there. That's something we could totally do. And they are right there. And we have plenty of them. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab a stack of these. Like that. And then I'm going to go down to here. And I'm going to just throw these in here. Like that. Don't know if that's going to help us or not, but we'll see. And this is why editing the videos and stuff is helpful because I can cut all of this part out while we're waiting. So, um, I was going to use the trucks to bring this stuff from my second factory to my first instead of long conveyors. Trucks are a good way. It just also depends on um, how far you got to go, what the terrain is like, things like that. Uh, trains are my favorite. I love to use trains. If it's a short distance, trucks are better. If also just conveyor belts, honestly, just run them. If you hold control down, you can get the little line, and I think it's control. Let me make sure of that. Mm, three. I'm gonna need one of these first. All right. Uh, if we're not, if we're on regular terrain, this works, but not on regular terrain let's say let's go out here for example all right so if i put that say there and then i run a line to it holding control we're kind of straighten it up a little bit or at least make it kind of attached to something i've got too many lines coming off in this area so it's trying to it's trying to do weird things but just holding control down should line everything up if you're out in the middle of nowhere oh okay you're trying to like literally just cover them up oh for that it's however you want to do it um you can build like belt lines and stuff and make them all really neat looking you can cover them up with something if you want I just kind of leave mine open for the most part, but sometimes I will build like elaborate belt lines. You know what I also just realized? All of those smart plates I took out just went back into the, into the thing. <laughs> Hey, Joe. So I took all of those out, and then they went right back into the... Because that's how that works. I wasn't thinking about that. Let's do, let's do this. If I take this, like that, now nothing else can go into this, and then they will... Go through there. It'll take it a few minutes to get up there, but it should get up there in time. But I've been trying to get this video done for you guys on how to customize and stuff for I don't know how long. And I will would just sit here and just kind of look at it. And I was like, ah, this is, there's so much to go over. I don't know how I'm going to like explain all this. So, and I, it just hit me the other night. What if I just do a live stream and we just build the factory out in a live stream and that will help me. I can actually just kind of 
go over the customizing stuff on how you change the swatches I can talk about that if I miss something you guys are here to ask so that's always good uh, let's see so Veronix says I've personally decided to use forms of transport for longer distances keeps it all clean and is usually pretty quick um, and Zemania says as soon as I unlocked trains I removed all longer belts from around the map second factory is just over near that first Katerum deposit that you showed us okay so easy drive back home uh, gotta use them drones yeah tell me about it I would love to use drones uh, only just lock tier 5 and 6 so a lot of you guys that have like started with my how to series have gone way far above and beyond anything I've already done so far so you guys are figuring out your own thing your own style and that's good that's great to see. There goes our smart plates in. They're starting to come through now. Not sure how many we're getting per minute out of that, but. Starting to flow through. We're not going to get as many as we did to start with, that's for sure, because we've already gotten so many tickets that the smart planning, they're worth a lot, but they're not worth as much to get as tickets fast right now. Uh, you come across uranium today when I casually walked to one of my factories. Didn't end well. Did you try to uh, chip away at it and put it in your pocket? Because I've done that, and um, if you try that, you're going to have a bad time. Yeah, belts are the most easiest to kind of figure out, and like you know how much you can transport that way. Come on, I just need one more ticket. All right, just a little bit longer. We should have it. Yeah, if you mine some, uh huh, and you get it in your pocket. And then you go back to try to get it, but you keep dying because you can't get it out of your inventory and you're like right next to it. Five attempts to get rid of it. Mm-hmm. I did the same thing. I just wanted to see. I was like, I mean, if I mine it, will it still kill me if it's in my pocket instead of just being next to it? Turns out they thought of that. I don't think these smart plates are worth much. Either that or they're just, uh, we're not getting any more smart plates coming through. Well, you know what? Another stack. Another stack would do. We've got plenty of these right now at the moment. So let me swap it with something here. Uh, let me swap it with this. There we go. I'm a very disorganized person, as you can see. Pop those in there. Kills you faster in your pocket. Yeah, because it's directly against you. <laughs> Where's my thing I put down? Oh, right there. Okay. Let's turn... I've got some of these things we can turn into some power shards here, so we'll do that. Free up a little space while we're waiting. So close, yeah, so far away. I 
Also, something I figured out, the flower petals, when you start to get a bunch of those, you can use those as fuel. And in early, early game, like when you're first starting out, the flower petals are quite decent, actually, for fuel. They're a little bit better than leaves, in my opinion. If you're just throwing leaves in and you haven't actually got biomass yet, you got a ton of flower petals, use those too. Is it worth overclocking the coal power plants or just build more? Um, depends on if you have the space. Also, like connecting everything up, you'd have to use a, a lot more water and everything for each one. Um, some would say it's better to make more power plants. I'm more of a space saver kind of guy, so I actually overclock mine. And when they actually finally decide what they're doing with the overclocking, that could be bad or better. Don't know yet. There's our other ticket. Alright, now we can continue. Okay, let's go over here to the shop. Now we're going to go in here, we're going to go to the customizer option, and I'm going to grab roof material glass. I believe that should be the last thing I'm going to need right now. Alright. Alright back up here yeah I've got tons of that stuff myself right now at the moment so now when you're choosing this for I just unlocked roofs in glass right so I go over here to roofs where it's in architecture and I could just choose one of these but instead if I come over here and click where it says fix it roof I can now choose between the two options fix it roof or glass roof I want glass and I'm going to go with I think a four meter is that what I want I'm thinking I might go with a two actually yeah I think I'm gonna go with a two meter glass no no I want the four Oh, I see what I did. I see now. We do want to go two up with that. All right. I'm looking at it from further away, and because I couldn't figure out quite why that wasn't quite working. And then, so we'll go two up, two over. We'll put that right there. Like so. And I kind of like that. And then we'll take these two out as well. And we'll put that like that and like that and then put that on top right yeah 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 I like this this is pretty much how I have it now we're going to put in over here and we're gonna put the sides in the walls uh, do I have those inverted walls uh, no I do not have those yet so that's gonna be some more tickets but you can get some inverted walls to put in here and that's going to cover these sides up right here but for the time being I very much like this so we're going to go over here we're going to do the same thing over here so we're going to come one away from this yep one space one space and then we're going to take two of these out like that and these two up here and we're going to go in here we're going to grab the glass walls again double tier those grab the four meter glass roofs put those on top like that I am fairly happy with that And then we're going to come down here. And we're going to build this back. Like so. Go 
Gonna find the middle part, which is right here. Take that out. Build that over. Come out here. Man, that little truck's moving on, ain't it? And I'm gonna build this out about seven. And this kind of came from working on our live stream thing that I was doing. The live stream project I'm working on is where this idea come from. Because I had the idea to take and put the, uh, the space elevator up here. Because I think it kind of looks pretty good. So that's what we're going to do. I might need to bring this out one more. I can't remember if I needed to do that or not, but. Let's take out our space elevator. Give it a minute there. And let me check my photos here I took. Yeah. And we're going to spin it around so we have the control panel in front of us, which is right there. And I'm going to put it, let's see, yes. So we're going to come out, so you have, this is the opening, one space out, put it right on the edge in the middle of that space, right there. And of course, let it build out. There we go. And then we get the giant cable coming down. And of course, as always, I do love this animation. Since this is live and I can't just skip through this, we'll just watch it anyway. Man, I love that. <laughs> All right, we'll go use the control pad here and be done with that. Okay. Put that there. I'm being poisoned to death, of course. All right. And you can see the transport ship here kind of sticking out. I kind of like how that looks. When it takes off, it, uh, it's kind of neat. Yeah, I love the animations in this game. Absolutely do. Now, we do have the railings, too. So, we could always, if you want, go in here to architecture and take some railings. And just put you some railings right across through here. Make it kind of fancy. Well, we don't need these two, obviously, because there's a thing there. Uh, or these two. But we could take and put these down the sides like that. And go over here on the other side and do the same thing. Okay. Now. And I've got that kind of figured out. Let's see here. Now I'm going to move down here to the bottom. And let me see what I'm doing with this now. Space in between. Da, 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 da.
All right, so I'm going to take and we're going to build a foundation outwards out through here. Just got to get it over the sides a little bit. I've usually always been a function over form kind of person, but I've spent so much time putting catwalks and railings around my factory. It's for easy access to the machines instead of jumping over stuff. And also looks really nice. See, I'm the same way. I love to try to do all this stuff. I'm a builder. I love to build things and make cool looking things. That's my favorite thing to do. All right, so let's get some walls up right here. I do believe I ended up changing these a little bit here too, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to go up three up, uh, and then bring this out over here, and I'm just going to move this all the way down to the edge, like so. And then try to find the middle part, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I had a hard time trying to get that, but it's all right. We'll take this, and we're going to put this on top up here like that, and just bring these across. Now I like to have a door that's kind of in the middle. And that middle door is actually going to be like right over here. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Let's put some ramps up on this, shall we? Let's do uh let's go to foundations. I'm going to use two meter ramps, and then we're going to just put them right on the edge of this. All the way over like that. Now, now we can kind of just have it walk right up to it instead of having to jump to it. And from my photo, I can tell that this is actually where I have my door, right here. So I believe what I ended up doing was just moving these back a little bit. Now one thing you could do, if you have gates, which you can unlock in the shop, you could put a gate here as well. Uh, I don't have the inverted walls and stuff yet, so I can't do that. think we're going to take this out right here and we're going to move these back a little bit. I'll just go ahead and boop like that and boop that over there. And connect that up like that. And obviously this doesn't connect here, but that's okay. That's okay for the time being. Alright, and then let's go ahead and throw these down here as well. Just run that across, run that across. Kind of hard to see what you're doing here, but. There we go. All 
Actually, I'm just going to use the 4 meter. Why not? Let's run that across through there. Redesign the area, but... I mean, this took me a while to kind of figure out how I was actually going to build all this, so... It did take me a bit. Really wish I had the inverted walls. I don't... How I ended up able to get enough points to do that when I was building this the first time, I cannot remember. Let's jump up here anyway. How many points is that actually? Let's go to walls and look at that. Uh, so the inverted walls are four and or two, and these are that. So we need a total of like six more tickets to get the the ramp walls, and I really want those. We have one ticket in there already. So if I just build and wait. But who wants to build and wait? Not me. I'm going to grab a couple of stacks of these. Let's put... I'm trying to stuff things in here. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Let's put that and that in there. And I'm going to trade out this for that. Now, if you're doing this the same as I'm doing it, remember that you did this so you can go back later and get this stuff out of here. In other words, it's going to sit there forever. here and I'm just going to throw all of that smart plating in there and let it run through and get us some points built up slowly but surely and then we might as well come over here and we might as well do the same thing over here so we'll just stretch that across over there stretch that across stretch that across Grab us some walls. Under. There we go. Eight meter. My own walls, that is. Uh, it's interesting to see what solutions other people come up with. I'm kind of thinking the same thing. In fact, uh, what I'd like to do is if anybody does anything different than what I do with their main factory, I would love to see you share that uh, to my Discord. So if you're not a member of the Discord, you can join. It is free. And you can hop in there and uh, share some photos of your factories, your starter factories and stuff. And let's see what you guys come up with. Like that. And put that down like that. Now this side's gonna be a little different. We haven't built anything on this side yet, but I most likely will. I haven't decided what yet, but we'll probably build another side of this factory like right above us here. So see where this is gonna be I think right there and then three up and we'll come all the way over like that and one two and here maybe you guys choose a different paint scheme than me maybe that's something you go with all right, and then we're going to do foundations. And I just want to kind of get some nice foundations down here. And then we'll just run that over there. And I'm out of regular plates, looks like. So we'll just go grab some more of those. One, two, three, is it this one? Nope. 
This one? Oh, bottom row. That's why I can't fight him. One, two, three, four. Grab a couple stacks of that. Okay. Not perfect by any means, but it's kind of getting there. And then I'll take this, put that there, and up. Go. Yeah, I just really want those inverted ramps so I can finish everything off right here. All right. Now, let me see what I'm doing next here. Okay. Alright, I see what I did. Let's go back over to this side. I'm going to come out over here. And I probably won't have enough silica to do this. But I'm going to try anyway. So I'm going to take these hex frames. And I'm going to run these along the wall here. Like so. Oh, yeah, I knew I would run out. And I think we're going to go... You want to go too high with this, so we're going to need some more silica. Can we find silica? You know, I think I know where there's a raw quartz at, actually. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's back this way. Is it the other way? Is the quartz... Mm, I feel like there's quartz over this way. But it says it's that way. It's kind of far. I don't even know what it's find, trying to find now. Coal is what it's trying to find. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think we're going to end up going this way. I, yeah, I, okay, I'm kind of remembering where it's at now. I believe it's up in this valley up here. So we'll drop down here. I believe this is where I went to find it. It's been a while since I was last looking for it here. And again, I am totally sorry that it's taken me this long to get to this section and get this next to how to satisfactory thing out. I've honestly been working on it, working on it, working on it. And this is... I, I thought this would probably be the best way to get it done, get it done fast, and... kind of show you guys... I do occasionally will get a comment where somebody will say, um, I build things too fast or I don't show everything. At least with a live stream, you're seeing everything this way. Aside of optic, is there a noticeable improvement in FPS by enclosing the factory? Um, not that I've noticed. There might be. I haven't really been able to tell though. Take that stuff. It might because you are closing out. Technically, you're closing out everything that you can't see from too far away. So, I 
Where is this? Is it up? I'm trying to remember. I can't remember if it's up or down. Uh, let's go up. Alright, so I'm going to build a foundation to go up there. Build some ramps going up there. I was hoping I could just copy something and grab it, but I couldn't. There is a crash site up here, though. Wait, is it up in there? I did kind of forget that I needed to look for this, so this is my fault. This is my fault that we're wasting time trying to find quartz right now. Because I should have already known about this. And figured out where it was ahead of time. Oh, there's a second one up here. Where'd the other one go? Well, hey, there's a crash site up here. So, you guys are looking for another crash site. And now you know where one's at. Oh! Wait, is that a big guy? We'll just, we'll get back up here. I hate that. But it is what it is. It happens. As always, grab our nuts. Throw our nuts in our hands and head off into the distance. This is why I always preach in my videos, safety first. <laughs> Here's a cave which leads sort of the crystal node long cave, but a smooth uphill to the Okay, so yeah, I thought I had went through the caves. Ah, oh, we gotta go back and get our stuff, so. But I was thinking I'd went through the caves before. Sorry, mistakes. It's fine. I mean, I'm sorry for my mistakes right now. Let 
This was one reason why videos are actually better than the live stream. Because we can just cut all of this out. And I have everything planned out ahead of time. It's just been really, really hard for me to make videos and stuff here lately. I'm kind of stuck on two sections. Um, this episode right here, I've been stuck on this one to do the How to Satisfactory series. And for my uh, Dune Desert project that I've been working on, that one I've been stuck. I've been building this giant transport ship. And it's taken me forever. And I start building on it, and I'm just like, I mean, I'm just really not in the mood right now. I'm just not... I've been completely out of the mood to do any of this stuff. So, so I'm hoping once we get past this episode and the next episode of the Dune Desert Project that I'll be able to make videos a little smoother now that we're past the technically the harder parts. Probably auto chapter this thing so that when people are watching it back later and kind of see where to go and then I'll probably pin that comment too I believe there's some coal up here or something though Oh no, I don't have my blade runners, which means jumping on top of some of this stuff might be a little harder. Here's my stuff. Oh, that is a big guy. Okay. I thought so. Ah! Okay. Now I gotta run all the way back down here again. You know what? No. <laughs> no. I'm cheating a little bit here. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. It's for the sake of the video. I hope you understand. This is faster than having to run all the way back down here. All right, let's get my stuff. Re-equip my rod. Coffee cup, nuts, blade runners. All right, so bird's eye view. There is a crash site up here, and it needs 20 megawatts of power. So I also need some motors. So it uh, takes about two motors and 20 megawatts of power to open that. Let's go through the cave. There we go. I feel like this is where I went the first time to try to find this. If you need mycelia, there is some mycelia here you can grab.
And if you have arachnophobia mode on, this is what that looks like. Practice what a peach. Make sure you keep your health up. Might as well grab a blue slug while we're heading up this way. This is a big cave. With a lot of spiders in it. Or cats. <laughs> purple slug up there if you guys don't have a purple slug yet right up there this is literally just pictures of cats coming at you this is <laughs> this is actually kind of hilarious uh, uranium node over there I believe that's what that is pretty sure that's what that is All this work for just some quartz. There's probably an easier place to get quartz from, too. Oh, that's a big one. I forgot that I had turned that on, to be honest. I did it the other day because I'd never actually had seen it before. So I was like, you know what? Let's turn it on. Kind of forgot about that. Which one's still alive? Any of them? Okay, that's... I don't... You know, I don't know which one's actually creepier at this point now. I think I'll take the spiders. Today's music is a custom uh, playlist that I made, consisting of music from Satisfactory, Stellaris, and Surviving Mars. Because we always need tons and tons and tons of blue slugs. <laughs> Dr. Toom's not happy with the spiders. <laughs> Never seen it live. Looks even creepier to me. <laughs> Alright, let's see where this is. Did I even go the right way? It's over this way. Okay. I think we could have went up the side of the hill. And probably would have been easier, I think. Hmm. 
Looks like it's over here. I found my first quartz northwest of the grass fields. Seemed to be an easy location to gather. Oh, okay. Maybe I should have went that direction. Northwest, okay. I feel like there's an easier place to get it. I could have sworn it was uh, more east. I'm probably thinking of something else, though. Wait, is it right here? Yeah, it's kind of like up on top of these rocks here, I think. All right, well, mm, I don't want to bother with the gas, so let's... Go up this way. The forest near the grass fields? Yeah, probably an easier area, actually. Trying not to die there. I liked how the music got a little more exciting right there, though. There we go. All right. Hey, do I have the rebar gun? I do have a rebar gun. Do I have ammo for the rebar gun? don't. That's okay. Oh, he got away from me. There we go. All right. Should have brought a miner with me, but uh, I can make a miner real quick. Let's do that. We'll just make one. Um, also, real quick, guys, how is the music? Is the music's not too loud right now, is it? I know this is getting a little loud in my ears, so if I need to, I can turn it down. I'll make about three miners here, real quick, just so we can get a lot of silica. Those guys do their job. And then I'm going to look real quick. Which is what I should have done a minute ago. But. Satisfactory calculator. Source nodes near the grass fields. Yeah, neither one of them looked to be the easiest place to get to. located 
This one seems closer. The other one might be a little easier to get to, though. <clears throat> the other ones are pier? Okay. Uh, it's probably better to go to that one then. What's this one? That's a normal note too. hub and stuff is that way all right that's probably good enough let's see how to get out of here what's well, the quickest way out of here Probably, I would say, a full thing of health, and then just fall down. That'd probably be the quickest way. But, you know what? I bet... Let's see if this goes where I think it goes. No, it does not. Alright. We'll go around this way, though. I bet you guys playing on um, the Update 6 stuff probably forgot about the, the fireflies there. There's the heel. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so the easiest way, screw the cave altogether. Let's come up this way. Follow the little trail up through here. That's probably the quickest way. There's a spitter over there. I'm gonna not go near him. I'm on the other side of the pit. Gotta go around it. I could build a bridge to just go across. That's another option. But yeah, if you come over here to where the cave is, and you just go right, and then go up that side of that cliff there, that's probably the easiest way to get up there, honestly. And then you said the other ones were pier, though, so those are probably good ones to go to as well. Either way, to make this, uh, if you want to do grab some silica and actually make a nice looking like glass windows and stuff like that, you're going to need quartz. But I think we got enough for this now. Alright, so now we can kind of finish this off. For the most part. Now, while we are traveling back through here, 
Um, for those who have been following along with this series, what is the next thing that you think we should do? Because I'm kind of thinking we need to look for Sofer, do all that, and then blow the bejesus out of the Caterium thing so we can start getting Caterium and stuff. That's what I kind of feel like the next episode will be. What do you guys think? What's your opinions on that? That should be an easy episode, honestly. All right, now back to what we were doing. Oh, we need to make quartz, so we need to go up there. Come over to here, and here. Uh, nope, wrong thing. Where's the ah? That's that's what I need. Da, 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 da. Silica. Make as much silica as we can. At least about a hundred we'll probably do well, I don't know we got to go around quite a few places and then we'll check and see how many coupons we have and then be able to finish that up There we go. And coupons wise, we have a total of three, which makes us what? A total of four coupons all together now? Actually, I don't even see my other coupons. Did we leave some stuff behind? I don't think we did. For the useful recipes. Uh, I think my last episode was the recipes and stuff. I'm trying to get rid of some inventory here. I'm thinking about what I can make to get rid of some stuff. Yeah, right. Okay, I'll just keep making this until we get rid of a stack of quartz anyway. Can delete that thing of wood there. Don't need that. That opens up two slots. There we go. Now, let me go over here and grab these. Get there. I swear I had another ticket earlier. Maybe I didn't grab that ticket out of there. Hmm. That That's a possibility. That's a very good possibility. All right. I'm going to go out here to this outside here. And we are going to just bring this all the way over like that. Not all the way to the wall. We'll bring like one gap on each side. And then we'll put a second layer up on top of that. And then we're going to grab that. Put that there. And that to that. And then grab that, and we are going to then put these away over through here. And make kind of a little platform area up there. Now I'd like to go maybe one more up on top of that. It's kind of hard to see it though from where we're at. Maybe you missed an episode. Uh, it's possible episode 12 was uh, the recipes episode, I believe.
I like that. And we're going to come up to this. And architecture. All right, so now we're going to use catwalk crossings right here. And what I want to do is I want to put something in through here. We can just kind of use as a base here. There we go. real quick oh okay I see what I did so you want to make sure you get these just right in other words you got to do what I did and I didn't know that these would connect to the walls like that I was wrong on that so we're gonna delete these line them up to make the squares perfect because apparently you can just set these pretty much anywhere you want that, like that, like that. So I didn't know that. And I just learned a valuable lesson. Stretch this all the way down through there because this is all going to be one big walkway. We can kind of look out over here and then come over here. Right. And then from here, we are going to build some stairs up. see do I want that to be double I can't remember if I went double or not nope it was only one that's correct All right, so one set of steps up, or you can go to, if that's your thing, you can also do that. I believe I have another photo of this I took somewhere. Okay. Yeah, stuff that's not matching up with my stuff here. Unless I move that over. Did I move that over? Oh, I did. Yeah, okay. I totally moved the uh, this over too. So if you want, you can move this more over in the middle now that we move the hub and stuff up there. But yeah, just go ahead and connect your catwalks and stuff any way you like up this way. At this point, there we go. And then now you have this little way you can kind of walk down here, come across through over here, and then you have a nice walkway all the way down through there, like so. That goes to the other side down here. And then there would also be a wall that comes down through here as well. And you can even put windows in this wall if you want. So you can look over top of stuff. This is what I'm going to do right now though. I may change this. I don't know yet. I'm prone to change things. 
take these out and then we're going to change these over to a yeah that should be right jump over here Oops, I had what I wanted. There we go. Change that over to a corner. Put that there. We can even take these out, change them over to this. And we have the railings on the side there. And then up you go. And of course you may also want to change that out for maybe a double railing. Like so. Or maybe you want two sets of stairs. You could do that too. here grab a windows those across double them up now this side I'm not gonna finish this side over here because there's still more to add on to the factory right over here so I'm not gonna do anything with that So I'm probably just going to bring that over to like there. Get that on top of where I want there. And then up there. And then we'll run that across through there. Like that. Probably finish this wall right here up a little bit. Just tidy things up. Right, and then I want to grab some. I'll just go into architecture and find what I need here. Grab that, and then put that right there. And that way, we make sure we get that just right. So there's no more mistakes on that. Right here, you could even put a walkway coming down if you wanted to. I'm going to jump over to that, though. So I can get up here and do the same thing I did over here. And that way I can kind of match things up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Three. One, two, three. Is there on the end? Yeah, right in here. That should be it. And then we'll grab that. Put that down. Essentially, I'm just going to build backwards at this point. One set of stairs. And then a corner piece, which I just passed by. Like that. I'm going to say two, probably. Like that. Went too far down, but that's okay. And then we'll just connect that to that. That to that. Obviously, we got windows right here in the walls. Connect those. And put a roof on. Yeah, we'll go over there. Over to that. Yeah. Like 
And then just put those down through there like that. And it looks like that's going to connect with that wall right there actually pretty good. So we'll just keep that going all the way down through there. And I'm about to run out of plates. So let's go grab some plates real quick. One, two, three, four. Got to be careful not to fall off. And for the most part, none of this is really advanced building or anything. Um, like, I've already done the thinking and the design of the building and everything myself, which saves you the trouble. But again, I'm very curious, like, you know, for you guys to take what I'm kind of teaching here and then kind of do your own thing. And I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Really would. And like here, maybe we might take out these walls or something right here and then just kind of maybe have that. I don't know yet. Honestly, this is as far as I've gotten my building process. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. But let's take, uh, let's take stairs and let's go down right here. Looks like that would go up two steps down. I don't want to go two steps down. I want to go one. I need to turn soup off for one. There we go. And just kind of bring this over here. And then figure it out from there. Now here, though, I think what I would like to do here is actually kind of take this out. We'll find the middle spot, which is going to be right here. And let's put a ramp up to that. Or we could use catwalks. Whatever you prefer. I'm going to use a foundation. And I bet I can probably get that to match up perfectly. Just like that. Look at that. It's available on your channel. I may have to check that out. Maybe we could put three of these like this actually. Maybe we could just take this out and that out and just build those three across. See how that looks. So at this point I'm more just in the design concepts now because uh, like I said I've not made it any further than this. So this is just me thinking on the fly right here. Can I come up in here? Yeah. Okay. Maybe bring this out. Maybe bring that down. Just double layer that all the way down through there. Turn Zoop back on. Do you have a lot of space more here? We could build more stuff here. <clears throat> And again, I just hope that uh, this sparks some creativity in you guys and everything. Everything and such and such and everything. Starting to sound like the guy from Matrix. Uh, let's see, walls, uh, eight meter tilted. Put that up like that. And then inward. Can't see what I'm doing there, so we'll come off a little bit. Build another one up. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's three to make the triangle right here. Uh, we'll go to the other side of the building. Let's go to our first one that we built. That first triangular section. I'm 
right over here. See now, when I look at this and I see all this space inside of this building and I see how that lines up with that right there, I see so much potential for ideas here. And we probably won't get into those ideas today. But we could really probably build a whole other like factory right in this right here. We could build a whole other like level, which would be kind of cool, I think. But what I wanted to come over here for is let's go back down to architecture and roofs. We're going to do the flat roof. And I'm going to take and I'm just going to build that all the way down through there like that. Give it a nice skylight. All the way over here to the end. And that looks pretty good. We can even go ahead and enclose this in over here. But first, first we need those walls. How are we doing? One more coupon? What is that? Total of four? I need I need a total of six, I think, for this. But first, I have enough for this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the, the ramp wall bundle for now. And then I think I need two more tickets for that. So we'll go ahead and buy that. There we go. And let's go ahead and come on down here to the end of this. I don't want to make this stream too long, but I was also kind of hoping that we could finish this up today as well, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to that. don't know if we'll be able to get to. So we have an eight right here. All right, so let's do this. Let's grab a regular wall and take that up as far as we can like that. And we'll just enclose it with the regular walls for now. Now you'll notice one thing I still haven't picked up yet is conveyor walls. But you could totally put conveyor walls in here and then make your conveyor belts line up to those. That is something you could do. I think I'm just going to leave that open, though. I think that's fine. Now let's grab these walls here. And we just put them right on top of that, like so. And if we had the inverted walls, we could easily fix that right there. And we have that little gap right there. And we'll just bring that out to that. Now the only thing I'm unhappy with right here is this right here because I feel like I had this fixed better somehow and I'm not 100% sure how I did it but I did have it fixed better. I know that. Um, let's see here. What do we got in here? Yeah, a lot of stuff in there. We could take and move this kind of more in the middle here. We could just take this out and then rebuild it. Or right in the middle, kind of like that. Wouldn't take too much to do that. We just have to take this line right here out and then bring that over. Yeah, it's not exactly straight. I'll run it right down through here. Just like that. 
that work? Oh, that connected perfectly. There we go. And then uh, just connect it to some power somewhere. I know it was connected to power somewhere before. Was it under it? Where did I have the power to? I don't remember where we had the power connected to this. Oh, I see it. Right there. I bet that's where I had it. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, let's do this instead. So let's take that power cable, right? And let's run it here. And then we'll connect that. And we'll just run it underneath of this, right? Let me put it about every two slots here. That should be right about there. And then we'll just run that to that. There we go. Stephen McGregor says, hello. Hi, how you doing? And again, uh, if I've missed anybody and not said welcome to you all, it this is, uh, like I said in the very beginning of the video, this is more of a, it's a live stream, but yet it's also kind of a video as well. So I'm just trying to get as much done as we can today. And just kind of teach some stuff. So it's not that I'm ignoring anybody and not saying hello to you. Just trying to get through everything here. And I keep looking at this and I keep wanting to pick stuff up. And I'm like, hmm. Uh, put that in there at least. Uh, da -da. Grab what we can. We can take and put it up in there. I'm pretty happy with this so far. And what if we take these off right here, right? And we do this instead. What if we... And I'm just thinking out loud right now at this moment. Don't know what I'm going to do just yet. But I'm thinking, bringing this down like that. Nah, it's still not happy with that. I'm just not happy with what I'm trying to do here, like, at all. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Let's see here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. All right. I have a thought. What if we do something like this? Now we will have to rearrange the uh, this a little bit here, but I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and rearrange that. I'll pick up this material we left behind here. Oh, it's just some screws. Nah. Meh. Just some screws. Not important. Got some more stuff down here that I couldn't pick up. Another screw. That's fine. What if we run the belt down? Like right down the middle, right down through here. So what if yeah. So back two, like there. And then run that that way. And then it runs right next to this, which actually looks pretty snazzy. And you guys know me. I'm all about the snazziness. Oh, I'm dying. Uh, I think if I connect that there and then into that. Voila. And then we also have these little railings right here that we can put up right next to this. And I like it. I like it a lot. You know what we could even do? We could even take out 
let's say this right here, right? And we could put a ramp in right there. Yeah. Actually, if we come back a little bit on that, that one actually might get more sense. Let's do... Yeah. If I come back about halfway or so, which is... Yeah, it's... I'll have to do it a different way. But All right, so I'll build it this way first, right? And then I'll bring the catwalk across, say, one, like that, and then grab that. And then build that down to there. And since we want this to be just a regular catwalk, we will just build this out into that. And build that. And we take that and build that there. Like that. And then bring this down here. And I'm out of rods. I still haven't found my way up there yet, have I? Well, that's okay. That's okay. Rods, 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 rods. Yeah. Right there. That's our rods. Give me one stack of rods. There we go. Then we'll put this here, like that. Not that tall. Right, there we go. Look, now we got a little nice uh, kind of thing that walks right across over through here to get to the other side. I like that. And we can even put our railings back right there. Beautiful. So all you got to do... Try to just uh, use your imagination and see how you can put things together. Let me see if I can now figure out a way to get to that top platform right there from here. And I'm kind of feeling... What if we... Should we use catwalks to get up there? What do you think? That's a possibility. We can maybe do catwalk stairs up right here. Right in this corner, right there. But I think that's going to be a little too tall. Yes, it will. Alright, so that will be too tall if we do it from there. Which means a 4 meter will also be too tall to do that. We could... I could do catwalk ramp up. That would actually do the job. Except, that's not going to kind of equal the middle there, I don't believe. The machine is centered. But, come down here. Yeah, I'm not happy with that either, so I'm not going to do that either. Um, Alright, well, let me just take... Oh, this out right here and let's just do let's just do this we'll just bring it right down next to the machine how about that yeah it's not perfect but it will probably do Or, ah, uh, what if we use catwalks instead? 
and then I think that would actually look better right there so we could take the catwalks attach it right there bring it down like that and then use some these and we'll just bring that down like that and then copy that and then put that right there how about that yeah it's a little off yeah that don't exactly match up good And there's no good way to do that. Uh, well, actually, there is. Yeah. So we take this. We just take everything we just did back out one more time. Grab that. Connect that to here. And then... Like that. And down. How about that? And that gets us up and down, and everything matches up there pretty good. I'm happy with that. We'll just put these over here like so. There we go. And now we can get up and down through there. We'll have to move some of these things around down here, but I will let you guys do that however you decide you would like to have these machines and stuff down here. Don't necessarily need these here. And for here, I'm going to use, I'm definitely going to use foundations here. And I'm thinking a two meter foundation. We'll just bring that right across like that. And we'll probably just bring this wall like right down through here, maybe. I don't have a soup on, so... And we'll just enclose this, maybe. For the time being. Unless I decide to do something else with that, but, yeah, okay. Now, you know what we, yeah. Something I was thinking about doing is maybe we could put another ramp up right up the middle. So you could come up and then go around that way. But, yeah, I don't think I want to do that. I think that's fine. We can even enclose this in right here, too. Just like that. And then just run that down through there. Do something like that. Maybe even run that up to the wall up there. Like there. Alright, so that just got us to here. We still aren't up to there yet, but... And then that takes us outside to here. We can run the space elevator. I'm almost thinking maybe we could bring a catwalk down this way. Do we have enough space there to walk on her? Yeah, we do. All right. So, yeah, we could totally do something like that. At some point here. Oh, you know what? That's not going to add up. I don't think that'll work. I think that'd be too high. Let's 
So yeah, I still haven't solved the problem of getting up to the upper deck yet. Hmm. <clears throat> what I really want to do... Take this out. And I very much would like to do... Something like that. And that should and then the stairs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll work perfect, actually. We just connect this to that. Voila. And then that goes down. And then we do the exact same thing on the other side. Which I said that in a video before. And I got a lot of comments where I said just mirror what I do on the other side. And I guess people had trouble with that. So... But essentially, you just you copy it. Just do exactly the same thing. Just mirror it for the other side over there. And it should work just fine. If you need help with that, we can just do that right now. We can just bring this over here. Let's see. And that's going to be uh, second one over here. Is it here? Yeah, right here. So we just take this out. Grab that right there. Bring that up like that. Grab that piece, put it here. Grab the next piece. Up. Take out this one. Put that one in its place. And turn this into the corner piece right there. And voila. I dig it and then uh, you know what I think maybe in the next video what we'll do is we'll talk about hypertubes because I'm pretty sure we have hypertubes unlocked right I think we do do we no but we can we can unlock the hypertubes in the next episode we can do that and we can uh, unlock that Caterium mine over there as well also uh, it's a very possibility that I might be able to complete this now too so let's do that real quick let me find my walls. And we need, what do I need here? There we go. So it's a four meter wall. And we just put one there and one there. And then now we need the upside down ones. But yeah, we just take these. Since this is all we have right now, we can just do that. Like so. And we come over here to this side as well. Like that. And let's see how many we have now for tickets. We have one ticket. We need one more ticket. But the next ticket's going to be 82,000. And there's not really a good way to get any quicker. Let me take this out. All right, well, that's fine. Let's head back up here. And let me take a look at one more thing before I finish for the day. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip two right here and we're going to take out this one and this one. Skip two and then take out that one and that one. 
And that should be enough, right? Okay. And then we grab these windows. And what I want to do is I just want to copy these windows real quick on over to the other side here. Really hard to see that from where I'm at. Good thing we can climb around on these. So, and how much space do we have down here on the end? Is it two? One, two, oh, three. Ooh, okay. Mm. I'm okay with that. Doesn't have to be even. If you guys want to leave a bigger gap in between these two windows here, you can, and have an extra one down there. Or maybe just uh, push this down another notch down here, and maybe have three in between them all. That's however you want to do it. There we go. Take this out. Take this out. Grab these and we'll just if I can get where I want it anyway. Not a whole lot of raw quartz being sent directly to sink in early games since they seem to be worth some points and didn't have that much use for it at that time. Yeah, if you, there, if you have a resource that you're not really using, you'd totally just send that into a sink. And um, in my newest video for my Dune Desert project that will be coming soon, you guys will be able to see I was able to get like 30-some tickets. I got lucky and found some supercomputers outside of a um, crash site. And, man, I sunk those supercomputers and got, like, 30-some tickets. Which was great. I'm just going to run that all the way down through there. Just like that. Okay, now. I just need one more ticket. 71,000. And we're just going to have some flowers set up here for the moment. I'll, I'll, I'll get them later. <laughs> we'll, we'll pick them up later. Uh, I just need that one ticket. One more ticket. I'm trying to think if I've got anything I can sink real quick into that. There's nothing I can think of. It's just going to be a bunch of that. But... Once you get the upside down pieces on, so you got to get these pieces in first, and then the upside down pieces will fit right into that. So you would just use an eight meter here, and then that there. Um, yeah, that should do the job. All right, so let me get this in there, that 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 in there. Uh, we got plenty of that. Let's put that in there. There's some slugs. Let's put those in there. Put that sofa in there. I don't know why I have steel ingots on me, but I do. Um, still using beacons in this. Let's see. Yeah. That all looks fine, actually. Yeah. And a smart plating is probably the only thing I have currently that is going to be worth the most points right now at the moment as far as uh, throwing things in there. But yeah, look at all this space in this building. You could even take these windows and put them on the other side to make that match right there, which I think uh, would be a good idea to do. And since we're waiting on tickets anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to 
Let's see, so not that one, not that one, not that one, but this one, and this one, and that one, and that one. Or I could have just looked up and done it. Or hold control, that's another option, just do that. And then grab these. That's not going to work like that. Okay, that's fine. Looking good. I think so as well. I'm very happy with how this is coming out. And as you can see, trying to show you how to build all this in just a regular video would have been quite difficult, I think. I think I made the best choice by making this a, a live stream instead. I feel like that is the better option to go here. And then from after this, then we'll go back to the regular video format. But I am quite proud of this. I think this looks really good. Not sure what I'm going to do there, though. Might just uh, throw some railings around that and call it a day. And, of course, we have all this back in here, which this is all gassy. You don't want to get back in there. So what I might do here is just, yeah, well, in fact... Go ahead and do that now, actually. I think we will just fill this in right here. Actually, I probably might not want to do that there on that end. We could just do this. Now, if we take and we put this right here, then that is going to cause a problem. So we don't want to do that. In fact, I am just going to do... What if we, oh, ooh, I don't have the upside down pieces yet, do I? Oh, that's, or did I get those? Did I get those upside down foundations? No, I did not. It's fine. It's fine. Cover that it's all up over here on this side. And then I'm just going to bring this down. I need vertical to be on. There we go. And we can take this and then just run this all the way back in there. Or at least I'm trying anyway. Yeah, that'd be fine. But anyway, what I would do is just kind of block all of this in down here. That way you can't see the gas and stuff anymore. It doesn't keep the gas from coming up. The walls don't block that. But at least you won't be visible and at least you won't be walking over into it. And uh, I like how this looks. I think it looks pretty snazzy. Now, let's go back into uh, our colorization options here. Now, each of these, you can change. Like, these are the master swatches up here, right? So you do have that option right there. This is your custom. You have one custom one that you can do and change it anything you want. And then you have all these regular ones down here. So what you can do is you can set these up. And as long as you remember in your head where you used them, you can totally just change these out. Like this first one right here. Let's change this to a black on top. And then let's go down here to this one and let's change this to a red. Like that. And select those colors. Now this swatch is that. Now I just choose this swatch. And now we can just paint these right here. And we'll just do these lines in kind of a reddish color. And let me turn my flashlight on. Is it B? Yeah, B. Good. Now you can see we have 
red and stuff in here. It's got a little bit of red on it. But if I was to go back in and I was to change this out and let's say put the red on top and then change the bottom to the black and select that. And then you'll see that it just changed those. So that's why you kind of have to remember if you're going to change those swatches, you have to remember which ones you're using where. In other words, you're going to change the color of something that you previously changed and maybe forgot about. And then you go back and you're later on looking like, wait, why is that a different color? Well, that would be why. Now, there's one more option here in this little button right here. So if the, the way you get this, if you guys are just tuning in or you can't remember, it's X on your keyboard. You come in here and you can change materials. So currently, we have the regular fix-it material fix it foundations. We have regular fix it walls, but on our roofs, because I got that glass roof piece, I can just choose this and then find a roof piece. These are walls, so I can't use those. But uh, let's say these were regular foundations or regular roofs. Which let's let's change it to that. Let's change these back to regular roofs. I can just click on these and change them into regular roofs. Or we can go back in, we choose glass, and change it back to glass. And that's just roof material, so I don't have any other material. But in the shop, down here, once you guys get enough tickets, you can go in here over to Customizer, and then you choose all kinds of different stuff. Different kinds of foundations, like concrete, asphalt, grip metal, Different kinds of walls, such as concrete and steel walls. These steel walls look pretty good for stuff. I like those. Now, I chose the glass roof material, but there's also steel roof and tar. So you could go that route. And then you have these things here. So these will require a couple of things in order to use. And I don't want to waste my tickets on them right now. But we'll probably get into these a little later on. But these are stickers. So you can grab these and you can place them down on foundations. To make little lines and stuff. Say I want arrows pointing a different direction or something like this way. I can do that using those little stickers. Alright, so I'm not using this anymore. I'm going to take that out. And I believe... I'm not mistaken. I think I use this here, right? Something like that. Yeah. And I'm using vertical, so that's why I couldn't get any of that done. All right. And we'll just take that out. Yeah. And I'm just going to match this up over here on this side real quick. Yes, I do have this in the way, but that's okay. Right next to it, is it on down? I come down one from there, didn't I? Yep. Okay. Grab that. Stick that right there. And then grab that. Stick that there, and there, and then that, to there. Remove the MAM. We'll put the MAM somewhere else. We'll change that out later. Grab that. Change that to a 2 meter. There we go. And then, of course, we're going to put our walls over here. Turn Zoop on. And I'm out of concrete. And I think that's a good point to stop for the day. All right, so do I have any questions about customizing options, about changing the colors, about changing the swatches, anything like that? Um, or do you, is there any specific part of my starter factory that you guys want to see to make sure that you've got yours kind of more 
if you're following along anyway, kind of correct like that. I know some people had asked about this down here. So, as you can see, I'll just put this down here. Don't really have a way to end that, but that's fine. I can just have it come out and then maybe go up on the other side here behind the smelters. Could totally do that. <clears throat> Any questions about why I did something the way I did it? Any questions about anything I've done? Just questions in general. It's what we're looking for today. Because it's a great time to ask. happy with that so far and uh, we'll go ahead and put these up here too for safety reasons bring these down over here now I know this probably wasn't the kind of episode that you guys were hoping for I know it has been a very very long episode but I feel like this is the best way I could have done this and showed everything off. So, uh, thanks for the stream and information. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Lady, is it Lady Ha? Is that how it's pronounced? Hope you have a great weekend as well. Now, there will be more stuff coming this weekend. And the next episode of the Dune Desert Project videos will be up soon as well. So, you guys can check out that where I've built a giant ship. <laughs> or at least the first part of it anyway. That, that might be a two-part thing that I'm working on. And then we should get back to regular scheduled episodes of the uh, how-to and everything like that. I know there's a lot of gaps and stuff here in what it is, but we still have more to build. There's more to come, more things to do. More things to add to the factory. Lots more stuff coming. I'm going to take one more last look before I head off to see how many more tickets we need because I would really like to finish that. Ah, 27,000. Man, I just don't... I don't see another way to get a quicker ticket. Well, there is. There is a way. Is it coupons? Is that what I'm looking for, I think, right? Yeah, fix it coupon. Okay, so if I what is the key for that? I don't like doing this. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna cheat myself a little bit here, but this is for your guys' benefits. Just so I could add one more coupon to myself there. And I could actually get the pieces I need here for the walls. Just to kind of finish everything off. There we go. If you're wondering how I did that, that is a mod. I don't like using that at all. But I wanted to finish this off before we head out. So, oh yeah, I still need more concrete, don't I? Can't do anything without concrete. Oh, and the concrete. I think we need to work on the concrete at some point here too because we still just got this one little concrete thing out here doing its job. Oh, and these doors. While we're down here, and now that we have these upside down pieces, something that I found I liked pretty good was to do this. So take a one meter, no, it's a two meter, two meter, inverted ramp wall and put one there and 
and one there. And then you have kind of a little entrance right there. In fact, you could even bring this down a little bit more. We could take this, right? We could build one of these, make that into a one meter wall section, bring that over, and then put the inverted thing on the bottom. Except I ran out of plates. I was gonna say, don't I have plates going somewhere here? Yeah, here. I'm just going to grab a couple of these real quick. Until we get back upstairs. Because I want to finish this off. There we go. And there we have sort of a little kind of cubby hole. Now... Also, I almost forgot about this too. I kind of wouldn't mind doing a little bit of striping work on this. So if I take this, right, and we just kind of run this down the wall like so, and just give the building a nice kind of factory stripe right down that way. I think that'll look kind of nice. And I would do it here too, but yeah, I don't know about that. It might look all right though. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. You never know till you try it. It's not like we can't put it back, right? Right. Yeah, kind of give it a nice little stripey, little stripies right on top. I'll deal with the top part later, but you guys don't have to do that again. You don't have to do any of this that I've done. You can turn it to a complete square. If you just want to do a giant square building, you can do that. It's your game. Do as you please. I just like being fancy. Here's your one chance, fancy. Don't let me down. All right, and I need, what, plates now? Right, right. I'll grab a couple of plates there. I'm gonna head up to the top. I've missed my exit. I've built all these ramps and stuff, and now I gotta try to remember how I'm doing it. All right, so, now we're gonna come up here, we're gonna grab the inverted ramp wall, like that. We're gonna put one there. And then I'm going to do a, I believe it's a two meter. Nah, we need to, yeah, the four meter. And then turn that one upside down like that. So that, and that, and that. And then we'll grab those and we'll put those there. Like that. That, and that. And then grab that four meter piece and put that on the bottom of that. Head over to the other side over here. And we'll just finish this off. Just finish it off. Just tap it in. Tap it in. There we go. All right. Well, guys, I'm pretty happy with what we've done so far today. I think this is a great start. I don't know how it's going to finish. I don't know what it's going to look like in the end. But like I said, I wanted to kind of come in here. I wanted to show you guys. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, like I said, when are we going to put walls up and stuff? You know, it's just been an open, a big open factory for the longest time. And... You could do that. You could totally have a big open factory, but to really make things look nice, there's a little bit of building thoughts and stuff, a little bit of creativity into it, and see what you guys can come up with. And again, if uh, if you do anything different, or if you do exactly the same, I would love to see what you guys come up with. I do have a Discord. You can join my Discord. 
post pictures in my I have a satisfactory section. You can go in that and post your pictures of your factory. Just say, hey, this is what my factory looks like. I would love to see that. Interaction is good. Like to like to chat with you guys. And hopefully if you do come into the uh, to the Discord, you guys are actually chatty. Not a whole lot of people in my Discord really talk a whole lot. And it's kind of even though we have plenty of members, it's kind of barren and desert and not a whole lot of people are talking or responding or anything like that. Like I, I will talk in there, but only a couple of people will actually respond. So yeah, love to see some interaction in that. Uh, if you do decide to join, there is a set of rules. So uh, you have to make sure that you agree to those rules before you can see any of the rest of the score. There's two reasons for that. There's one, I would like for everybody to actually say that they did read the rules. Whether you did or not, at least you say you did. And the other thing is it keeps bots out. So bots have, aren't able to like click on the buttons and then go in and do that. Unless it's somebody actually spamming for real and not a bot. But yeah. Alrighty. That's got to do it though. I think we are at a good point. I think I've shown a lot of stuff off. The factory is a living thing, always growing and evolving. That is exactly right, Anzamania. Uh, really nice series. Like to watch more on you on inspiration for building a bit nicer. I'm building more technical. I can try to start a conversation. Alrighty. Okay, I'm going to head out. Like I said, I think this is a great spot. So, my fellow Fix It employees, hope you have learned some stuff today. Hope this uh, video was worth it. I will see you in the next one. Wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you next time.